Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. I'm Fear the Platypus and in this video we're going to continue our temple build. This video is going to cover building the altar. I mean, every temple needs an altar. You can't worship a god or a goddess without an altar. You need an altar for gifts and sacrifice and other altery things. This video shouldn't be too long. I mean, it didn't take too long to actually do the build. Well, there was measuring and cutting, and then measuring and recutting, and then I was sanding at some point, and it all just kind of culminated in this overwhelming sensation that my OCD hates me. But I hope you enjoy the video. Remember, if you're interested in creating items and terrain for your tabletop RPGs, then hit that subscribe button and click on the little bell so you'll be notified when I post my next video. So, let's get started on the altar. The dimensions that I'm going to use in this project will be 2 inches by 4 inches for the altar top and 1.5 inches by 3.5 inches for the altar base segments. The reason that I'm using base segments is because at the time that I made this project I only had access to regular foam board instead of a thicker foam board. I would recommend however that you use at least a half inch foam board if possible because it will help save you some of the steps a little bit later on. To create my base segments, I first made a pattern. I measured in a quarter inch on all four sides. Then I took and connected those corners together and was able to cut off the corners at 45 degree angles. A lot of crafters use blue tack for various things in their crafting. I have found it's particularly helpful in holding things down like patterns that I may need to trace. This project could be made out of multiple pieces of cardboard, but the reason that I'm using foam board is for the texturing and engraving that I'll be doing on the project later. And then we need to glue the pieces together. I just used regular Elmer's glue all for this task. For the top of the altar we're going to measure out our 2 inches by 4 inches and then we're going to measure in 1 quarter inch from all four sides. Basically it's the same thing as what we did for our pattern. The reason that I left the video in here for it was so that way if anyone had any confusions over the pattern there would be a visual representation that was in the video that you would be able to reference. Now I'm going to start applying the design that I'm working with for my particular campaign. And I'm using a felt tip marker to lightly sketch in the design so that way I don't engrave too deeply into the foam in case I would mess up and need to redraw something. The particular design that I'm using is for a Starfinder campaign I'm running. It is a symbol of an angel with flaming wings, which represents the goddess Sarenrae. 
She is the goddess of healing, redemption, and the sun in Starfinder. And once I'm done sketching out my drawing, I go back with a ballpoint pen to trace it. This will help to deepen the grooves and it'll bring the engraving out more when it's painted. And again, I'm using Elmer's glue all to glue the project together. You'll notice that there is a warp in my top piece, but that will be taken care of as the glue cures with the help of a big book. Painting this project consisted of using two coats of Vallejo Old Gold and one coat of DecoArt Dazzling Metallics Champagne Gold. Then I applied a black wash over the entire thing to help bring out the engravings. And here's a few pictures to help compare it to what it will look like next to minis and to the dais that I had built for my temple. I also created an alternate altar because there will be illusion magic happening. For the painting of this one, I did a base coat of black, then went with a gray overbrush, did a light gray dry brush. On the chains, I used silver, and I used a little bit of Vallejo rust wash to give it an older look, and then I black washed the entire thing and use touches of green wash to give a mold and mildew type effect. So there you have it gang, my take on an altar. Hopefully you found this video helpful and informative. Before you go, don't forget to click the like button and leave your comments, questions, suggestions, what your favorite meal is on Tuesdays, and anything craft related down in the belows. The last question I asked was, what is your favorite color? Thanks to Chris for saying that his favorite color is orange, and Laura for saying that her favorite color is clear. Yeah, about that. A big thank you to all of my subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, then hit that subscribe button and click on the little bell so you'll be notified when I post my next video. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter at FTPlatypus. And you can find my Facebook group by searching at FearThePlatypus. And if you're a crafter, we'd love to have you join our Facebook page, The Crafting Platypi, where we're building a community of crafters to exchange ideas and techniques and just show off our crafts. But most of all, thank you for sharing your time with me. As always, happy crafting and happy gaming. I'm Fear the Platypus, and this one is done. You can also find me on Instagram. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter at FT Platypus. And the Facebook the book of faces, the thing with faces and a book. That doesn't seem quite right. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter at FT Platypus. You can find the Facebook <clears throat> In and out. In. And if you're a crafter, we'd love for you to join our Facebook group, the Clap, the Claptons. 
We'll be singing Layla later on this afternoon. So join us. Little, 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 la. And la, 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 la.